welcome back to math. We are on chapter 10, lesson 10, page 765. Uh, divide whole numbers by unit fractions. You can divide a whole number by a unit fraction using models. A unit fraction is a fraction with a numerator of 1. A numerator of 1. Um, and we filled out our card. These are some of our unit fraction examples. And that's the back of the card. All right, we are going to turn our page and we're going to start on number two. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> we're going to start with the math math because Miss Richardson's brain needs to start with math math. So when I see a four, what do I have to remember to put it over? Blurt. One. one. Why? Because four divided by one is still the same as four. So number two, I have four divided by one, and then I have to divide it by what? Divide it by one third. Divide it by one third. Can I? What? Now, can I? Divide 4 by 1, divided by 1, divided by 3? No. So what do I have to do? What do I have to do? Multiply by the re reciprocal, reciprocal times 3 over 1. You were right. Whatever I do to the bottom, I must also do to the... Top. 3 over 1. So 4 times, oh, so uh, 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 over 3 is 1 whole. Does that do anything now? No, it's basically the same as dividing it by 1, right? Now I have 4 times 3 at the top. 4 times 3 is 12. 1 times 1 is... 1. 12 over 1 is 12 holes. That's question number 2. Problem number 2? Right? So if the answer is 12, what I did was I took 4 and I divided it into 3 pieces. 1... Two, three, right? One, two, three. So how many pieces do I have all together? Twelve. Twelve pieces. We're not doing the check. Because we got the answer, right? Any questions on what we did? So we had four holes. One, two, three, four. And then we had three pieces in all of them, and we ended up with 12 pieces all together. Any questions? Ready for the next one? Okay. Number three. Do math, math first. So three goes over what? One. So number three looks like this. Three divided by one. Divided by what? One fifth. One fifth. Now, how do I get one fifth? How do I get rid of one fifth? Multiply by the reciprocal, five over one. Whatever I do to the bottom, I also do to the top. So 1 times 5 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5 over 5 is 1 whole. Then I have 3 times 5, which is 15 over 15 divided by 1 is 15 holes. Any questions for me on 15 holes? So I'm going to put the number 15 here. And then I'm going to split each of these into how many pieces? 
five. Good luck to Miss Richardson. One, two, three. Squeak it, squeak it, Miss Richardson. Four, five. Somehow I'm getting it. There you go. How many pieces do I have all together? Fifteen. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Any questions on that? Is this coming back to you? You remember what we did on Friday? It's feeling good, feeling fine. Now, granted, I split mine this way. That was Miss Yoder's suggestion. She said because it looks like the other math we do, right? When we split them, the going all across. Number four. How do we do number four? Okay. Okay. Okay, so here's number four. My friend said, Miss Richardson, six over one. You do your red line. And then I put it over what? One over four. One over one. Right. Nicely done. So whatever I do to the or whatever I do to the bottom, I'm gonna do to the top. You're you got the right idea. I just want to make sure we know that you have to do it both ways, right? So one times four is four. Four times one is four. Four over four is one whole. Now I'm gonna do the multiplication. Six times four is any questions for that? 24, what do I do at the bottom? Over 1. 24 divided by 1 is 24. So the answer should be 24. So I'm going to split this one into how many pieces going across? 4. We'll see if we got the math right. So I have... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Six times four is 24 pieces. Feeling fine, thumbs up. Feeling kind of fine, thumbs to the side. Feeling miserable, thumbs down. Okay, try number five. Okay, math, math, looks like this, or should look like this. Check it out, see if you did it right. Five, I'm going to put it over one, because five divided by one is still five. Five divided by one, divided by one, divided by four. I have to multiply four times the reciprocal. The reciprocal of one, one fourth is four over one. Whatever I do to the bottom, I must also do to the top. So, 1 times 4 is 4, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 over 4 is 1 whole. 5 times 4 is 20, 1 times 1 is 1, 20 divided by 1 is 20. My answer should be 20. Now, it's not 20 over 1, it's 20, because I want you to do the division to get back to 20. Then it says it's divided by 1 4, so I only have to split, thankfully, into 4 pieces. I was hoping I didn't have to split them into 5. I hate splitting things into five. Five times four is 20. I check. Any questions on that one? Does anybody get anything different? Did all you get? Put your hands on your head if you agree with my answer. Fantastic. Try number six. Okay, number six. I would have put two over what? Two over one because two divided by one is still two. Number six looks like this. So I have two divided by one divided by one divided by two. That's silly. To get rid of my one half, I multiply by its reciprocal, which is two over one. 
Whatever I do to the bottom, it must also do to the top. One times two is two. Four times or two times one is two. Two over two is one whole. Two times two is four. One times one is one. Four divided by one is not that. Four, right? All right, so the answer is four. So I split each of these into two pieces. Two times two is four. Any questions for me? Try number seven. All right, so now I have number seven. Number seven says three divided by one. So make sure I put my one under there. Three divided by one divided by one divided by six. I have to multiply by the reciprocal, which is six over one. Whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. Three times six is 18 over one. I know I just flip-flopped it, didn't I? One times six is six. Six times one is six. It's still six over six. Six over six is still one whole. So that's equal to one, right? Now I have 18 divided by one, which is 18. Any questions on that one? Show of hands. I'm feeling confident enough to do my homework, Miss Richardson. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna assign it all. Watch how I assign the all though. Oh my gosh, it's like, what, five problems, six problems? You can handle this. Number three looks like this. Four divided by one-sixth. Five, or four, three, blah, 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 blah. three is four divided by one-sixth. That's my bad, but they put numbers like opposite or something. Three divided by one-eighth. Number five says, circle the model below that represents two divided by one third. The one thing I'm going to tell you is they split theirs this way. They split theirs vertically instead of horizontally like we've been splitting. So you have to look for the dots. <clears throat> Number six. Oh, there it is. Five divided by one third equals H. You're doing all of it. But I just jumped to the back so I can make sure you guys know what the story problems are. Does that make sense? I'm more concerned about you doing the knowing the numbers than reading the story problem and figuring them out. Any questions on what you are doing for homework today? What do you have to do? You have to do the math math. Do you have to do the pictures? No. If the pictures help, please do the pictures also. Any questions for me? Yeah, yeah. Four divided by one sixth. Absolutely. Any other questions for me? No. You don't have to do the math math on number five. I'll be nice. All right. Talk to you later.